Good morning. A few months ago, Anne Rubino, one of our former wardens, gave a wise and frank talk here, urging us to put aside our reluctance to talk openly and honestly about money and its role in our faith journey. I'm here today to build on that idea and to share my own reflections and experience on how a talk about money actually changed my life. In the late 1990s, our dear parishioner, Wesley Buckland, who was a member of the annual fund team, called me. He asked me to consider how important God is in my life. He told me that I would feel a shift in my commitment to my spiritual journey if I pledged to St. Bart's as if God is the most important thing in my life. I'd never thought of donating that way before. I'd been in the habit of donating $500 per year at the end of the year. You know, they usually had a matching grant, just like they do on NPR radio, <laughs> and I did it then. I decided, however, to follow Leslie's advice. I reflected on how truly important God and St. Bart's are to my life. I increased my annual giving significantly from $500 to multiple thousands of dollars, which reflected the proportional share that is important, my, the importance of God to my total budget. I made what I called a stretch pledge. As a result of this much larger commitment to St. Bart's, my life has changed. I increased my attendance at church. I even started going to the noonday service from work at lunchtime. I met people at the book studies, the forum, the Bible studies, and the church, of course. I went on retreats. I learned how to do centering prayer and spent more time at home praying and reading spiritually inspiring books. A true shift has occurred in me. All these things that I did helped me to learn about and actually experience deep and genuine love and forgiveness. I'm now calmer. Challenges and stresses in my life are still there, but they are less painful. I am learning that God's love is always here for me. Thank you, Stephanie. I'm not alone in my struggles. I have experienced support and caring from the people at St. Bart's. My growing faith gives me strength every day. My commitment to this church continues to give me great joy. I've now set up an automatic payment from my checking account every month to St. Bart's. I realize that St. Bart's has salaries and many other bills to pay every month, not just at the end of the year. So I hope that you will have a frank talk with yourself and your family about how much you are drawn to a more spirit-filled life. Consider what truly feeds your soul. I encourage you to reflect to yourself the proportional importance of this to your budget. I believe that you'll be glad you did. If you have any questions about how to make donations or how to increase your pledge, you can speak with Megan Corbett or any member of the Stewardship Committee. I'm here to tell you that there is great truth in the Bible verse that says, for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. God bless you and your family, and thank you for listening.